Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. It's review day! And as you can see, what I've got in my hand, the Thermalite Reactor by Cedar Summit. Is this the best and perhaps only excellent sleeping bag liner out there to warm up your sleeping bag? Let's find out. Is the Cedar Summit Thermolite Reactor the best sleeping bag liner? In my humble opinion, yes, it is actually very excellent. Now, why would you say, let me tilt the camera down here, it'll sit so awkwardly. Why would you say that uh, the sleeping bag liner is really good? Because the first question you should ask is, what is a sleeping bag liner? And then why the heck do I need such an animal? So. Uh, be before I go on, I just want to let you know that I'm not sponsored by Cedar Summit. I don't receive free things from them. They don't give me financial compensation for these videos. So just a, a word of disclosure. And also, if you can take a moment and just hit the subscribe button, just hit that subscribe and that'll help my uh, channel out. I'd greatly appreciate it. It doesn't hurt you, but it definitely helps me. And that's what I love. Let me help you by telling you about this product. So. What is a sleeping bag liner? It's just a little sock that you put in your sleeping bag to increase the warmth, maybe five degrees. It's definitely not gonna add 10 degrees to your sleeping bag. And you say, well, why do I need that? Well, so let me show you here. So I've got my handy dandy Western Mountaineering Megalite sleeping bag. I, this is rated to 25 degrees and I've taken it down to five degrees. I had a pretty chilly night. If I would have had this with me, I could have stayed much warmer. Five degrees is actually quite a bit of difference for me, and it wouldn't have been such a bad night. Now, you might say, Aaron, why didn't you just bring your Western Mountaineering Antelope, like, let me grab this thing, this right here. Well, there's a reason. The Antelope weighs, uh, let's see. The antelope weighs two pounds, 13 ounces. My megalite weighs one pound, nine ounces, right? So the question is how much does a liner weigh that will gain me about five degrees of difference? So I'm going to take this here and I'll just hold the scale. Trust me, it's pretty scientific, it works. All right, so let's see. Okay, you'll have to just believe me there. Takes a minute for it to come up. All right, come on. Hello. Hmm, guess you can't hold the scale when you're doing that. Shut it off and we'll try it again. So, <laughs> wait for the scale to reboot here. You didn't think you'd have to reboot a scale. So I'm going to put this on the scale. And I'm going to press the hold button. And there you go. Nine ounces, all right? So that is what this sleeping bag liner weighs. So with the sleeping bag, the Megalite, plus the sleeping bag liner, this would take me down to... It's like a 20 degree, maybe an 18 degree bag, give or take. And that actually gives me a lot of versatility. Rather than carrying a bag that weighs almost three pounds, this liner gets me in range of a bag that weighs a lot more. Now, do I do this option or use this option often? No, but it is available to me because I bought it. And so if I know I'm gonna go out and oh, the temperature might drop because just because there's a forecast out there, doesn't mean anything. I've been out sleeping in Wyoming in the dead middle of winter with this bag and the temperature dropped way below what the forecast was. Uh, whoa, boy, I was, I was okay in my sleeping bag, but man, when I had to hike out, like it was, it was a quarter mile in that time, my toes went to, oh, kind of cool, to my toes were completely numb and the balls of my feet were hurting. I didn't say I didn't frostbite my toes, but I did frost nip them and they pretty much ached and tingled for a good month. So I learned my lesson there. Get some better insulation on the boots, but the sleeping bag liner would have been a nice option. Now, rather than talking about it, let me show you what it is. And it's basically a human sized sock. And you might say that's pretty crazy. But what this allows you to do is you just literally pull it out and it is not much of anything, but it's literally just a huge sock for your body. Now, one of the challenges is, is 
so this is the entrance here, is a sleeping bag liner, if you're like hyper claustrophobic or you need to get up a lot, it's going to be tough because you have to wriggle out of this thing. So let me show you how this works for me. Here is, I can literally get in this thing and pull it up. All right. Now, one of the advantages of a sleeping bag liner is I have used this when I was couch surfing in Eastern Europe a few years ago. And I brought this just in case I didn't have any linens to sleep on. So this bag, let's see, I'm kind of squatted down, but it can pull up completely around my head. And it actually does have a back. So of course I put it on the wrong direction, but that's a minor detail. Don't worry about that. And it does have a draw cord and I can already feel the warmth. I mean, it's warm in my room, but I can draw this up around me and it can become, it's not quite an emergency shelter. Like I'll, I'll put a link below to my uh, Western Mountaineering hot sack VBL, but the sleeping bag liner is already slightly warm. So that's actually pretty good. And so once I wriggle into this, I can, let me, I'll just get in the small sleeping bag here. It's a bit of a uh, thing. So, of course, when you have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, yeah, it's kind of exciting, but whatever. So, again, if you're a claustrophobic type person, you are going to have trouble expeditioning anyway because a lot of the experience of sleeping in a snow cave is claustrophobic. So, all right, I'll zip this up. I know I'm already feeling pretty hot. Not that I'm hot and sexy, but just that I'm pretty warm. And so I put this on here and I put the sleeping bag over and I zip it up. And when the sleeping bag is zipped up, I can't even tell that I've got the liner in here and you can see it here. I'd uh, of course flip it over correctly. But j just the option of having the sleeping bag liner to warm up my sleeping bag to another five plus degrees is really a huge, huge option. Now, as I said, I've used this liner traveling. Oops, kind of cutting my head off here. And you can see here, actually, let me show you how I get out. So if I get to unzip the sleeping bag, oops, snagged it there. If I've got to unzip the sleeping bag, I have to remember that I am still, <laughs> exactly. It's, it's like one of those weird Teletubby outfits or some such thing. So I still have to know that I'm in this bag. So. If you're in a location or you know, you're in bear country or something where you might have to get out of your sleeping bag immediately, uh, you're probably going to want to have a regular sleeping bag that's a little bit heavier because this liner does restrict your movement and, and that's just the nature of it. it. Without a zipper on this, a zipper would be absurd on this sort of thin fabric. But that said, I've had this thing for... I think it's going on 10 years, so it's, it's really a long time. So let me show you, let me, let me get in the right position here. So it's got the hood in the right place where my head would be, because that was pretty silly of me. All right, so the hood, and yeah, there you go. The hood sort of deal there. All right, hopefully I've got it right, we'll see. So yeah, you just wriggle in like this. Pull it up around your keister. And then, yeah, you just uh, wrap it around. Oh, I probably still get it, get it right, but that's okay. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, <laughs> I gotta mark the back of that thing. That's the only problem that I've found with this is figuring out what direction this goes. So you can see that I can actually pull this over my face. I look like one of those evil characters and I can totally wriggle around and it's a bit of a fight, of course, but the fabric is actually quite tough. And so I can now draw the drawstring and I will literally encase myself in my little cocoon. So let's go extreme here. So for you claustrophobics out there, this is going to be a freak fest. And that's okay. So if I develop claustrophobic real quick, I'm going to be in trouble, but I don't think that's going to happen today because I've slept in snow caves overnight and no big deal. So literally, can you see me here? <laughs> All right, so let me move the camera because I got to wiggle around. 
This is a little bit awkward. There we go. So I'm literally, I'm actually starting to be pretty warm. I wouldn't say sweating, but so the, I am six feet tall, 165 pounds, give or take. And I am now inside this Thermalite reactor uh, sleeping bag liner from Sea to Summit. So as you can see, I, it, it fits my body perfectly. I've still got plenty of room. It's not tight. So if you're more than about six foot two, it could be a little bit snug. But as long as you don't need to wrap it around your head, it's no big deal. I kind of look like I'm wearing a brick or something kind of weird. So the sleeping bag liner by Therma, or not Thermaresta, Sea to Summit <sighs> is highly recommended. It's super easy to stuff that back into your bag. So if you only have to buy one sleeping bag and you say, dang, it's kind of cold, I can't go out. This little liner, I'll, I'll put a link below to it to Amazon. I'll put a link below to my uh, Western Mountaineering, what is this, uh, my Megalite sleeping bag. This liner allows you to extend your sleeping bag without spending a couple more hundred bucks on a much higher end sleeping bag. So I wouldn't say it's a cheat, but it is a good hack. And the reason I know these things, I've, I've written a book, Adventure Expedition One, with Dr. Terry Williams, hardback, paperback, ebook, of course. And we, we talk about all these different things. A sleeping bag liner is, is an option, but getting your system down. So it's one of those, man, I don't want to buy a crazy five degree bag. I want to buy something a little more reasonable, but then I'll freeze. The sleeping bag liner is definitely the trick to getting around that problem where you can extend your bag without having to buy a more extreme, heavier bag. And if nothing else, this is a great little travel pouch that if you're going someplace, you don't know where you're going to be sleeping. Maybe you're sleeping in a real cheap, sketchy place and you realize, I don't want to sleep on the bed. That's disgusting. Or I don't have any sheets. This thing is actually great. It, it totally performs as a sheet. You can throw it in your backpack. And obviously, it fits in here. It is super small. And whoa, hey, I caught on my microphone. Sorry about that. Hang on. And you can literally jam this in here into the bag and you're ready to wa uh, rock. It's pretty washable. I never have any problems with it. Just a regular gentle wash cycle. I mean, it literally stuffs into this bag in seconds. And you now have a portable set of sheets without any issue. It's pretty slick. It is synthetic fabric. It is not, uh, it is not silk. I really don't like silk. It's not wool because it'll develop holes. And there you go. Can't recommend this guy enough. My name is Aaron Lindstow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. Please like and comment on my video. Let me know how I'm doing. Give me some ideas for more things you want me to review so I can show you how I use them or would use them in exploration, mountaineering, and polar exploration and travel backpacking. Please support my channel by clicking that subscribe button. That just helps me out there. Also support my channel on PayPal and Venmo. Thank you very much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.